so what's up good people what's up i hope you're good today um so today i woke up with new this news that i want to show you so it's about this woman who is claiming that we africans we don't care about pan-africanism we africans we don't care about ubuntu spirit we africans we don't care about our brothers african-americans um what's so concerning is that she goes ahead and uh, she says that we africans we care less and everything that we want we just want to survive you want we just want money from you guys um well if that might have happened with one of you um it can happen of course but entirely we africans we love you and i'll show you why after this video that's why i need you to watch this video and tell me if you agree with her in the comment section because i don't think we africans we lost our way that much in as much as we are still struggling with our ways um in as much as we are still struggling with our division that's um something that it's still out of conversation so let's watch the video and let's see what's going on do not have an understanding of what it means to be a pan-african dear black americans <laughs> can we just give up on this whole pan-african one love uh brotherhood of man and sisterhood and all this we are one and all that listen let me tell you the reality on the ground yeah the average Ghanaian wants to go where you've come from let me tell you that is a fact i've worked for the british high commission before for many years i've seen Ghanaians come in with documents showing they've sold their land taxis houses even farmland just to raise the money to get a visa to go to the uk all this preaching about malcolm x and uh, what's the other one marcus garvey and we are all one sister brother they are not interested in that let me teach you chi today we need money because the average Ghanaian needs money to chop to eat to pay school fees to open up his kiosk every morning to sell the reality on the ground is life is hard in ghana they all want that life that you don't want i'm a prime example it's like we've crossed lives we in the west we want to come to africa to enjoy because we've we're done with there we've been there done it seen it they also want to go there to do it see it done it there to get money to build houses to have a better future some Ghanaians hate ghana let me tell you for i know Ghanaians that say they hate ghana for everything that it stands for so please all this coming in like you are the black savior to come and teach africans about pride and uh, self of self-worth and knowing that you are you, you know you're an african and coming to teach and preach sister brother save your breath they're not interested they don't even know what you're talking about because for them it's survival or it's survival every day in this africa is a survival light off no water living conditions and you're here coming to talk about marcus garvey that's not going to feed anyone here if you want to come and embrace africa with all your beads and all your extend your uh, uh, braids and your uh, what is it your dreadlocks and your dashiki and you want to have that true african experience wonderful but leave the Africans alone to fight for their lives and get on with their lives. The preaching is enough, please. So the thing is this. Um, okay, she claims that we only care about money and we find we need ways to survive, which is true. While it's also important to look at these things in this way. Um, we as Africans, maybe leaving African country, going to the United States or somewhere abroad, there might be a couple of reasons one it might be for work um some people might want to continue with further studies you know and maybe some people are just going for, for a vacation so there are a number of reasons that can make a person to migrate from africa going to 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 the united states or to the european countries the reasons why i tend to disagree with uh, this woman is that 
I believe that we Africans, we love you. And in as much as she claims that we don't care about the oneness, the Africanism, you know, the Ubuntu spirit, I believe that we still have the Ubuntu spirit amongst us as Africans. That's why our presidents are opening free visas for you to come back home. Africans, we do care about you. Um, we let you down during the slave trade. We are not going to make the same mistake in this 21st century. And that's why we want you back. Somebody cannot come um, out of nowhere and tells you that we don't care about you. These are people who still spread the African stereotypes about something to do with greediness. You see, Africa, we have our own challenges. There are some things in Africa, like corruption, which is going on. But that doesn't hinder the unity that Africans themselves have. I'm an African. I'm talking to you as an, another African perspective. And I, had, I have a lot of African-American friends that I'm interacting with since I started doing this content. And they have shared their stories with me. They have shared how close they are with us. They have shared how they feel secure. They have shared with us how for the first time they feel like we are family. Of course, I understand. There are some Africans who might be scammers. I understand there are some Africans who have these uh, bad behaviors, you know, just like any society. There is no perfect society. There are good people and bad people. So you can't use Ghana as an example. In fact, you chose the wrong country to say so because you could have said another country. Ghana is well known for its hospitality. South Africa is well known for hospitality. And you can't just choose one country to validate your point. You know, use countries. Country, you, uh, Africa has around 54 countries. At least you could have used at least five of them. There's an African-American who has visited four African countries. When you hear her argument about Africans in their concern, this is a different case. So um, you can't just wake up. That's crazy. You can't just wake up and tell African-Americans, our own brothers and sisters, that we don't care about them. They are our business since they left us. They are our brothers and we need to reconnect. So you coming out of nowhere telling people that we don't care about our brothers and sisters, that's really wrong. And I don't think if that's what's right, I don't think if that's what we should do um, as African. And I also call out all Africans watching this video. Let's be nice to our brothers and sisters because the few people uh, that mistreat our brothers and sisters, they come up with these reports, you know. Um, they should not face the same problem they are facing where they are. They should at least have peace of mind. They should at least um, have somewhere to lean on. They should have somewhere they found peace. You understand that? So we as Africans are obliged to welcome our brothers and sisters because one in one time we let them down. Our fathers remained let them down. And some of our brothers, African-Americans, are still mad about that. Some say that we sold them. So the only way to repay this is just being nice to them and letting them back to our country, back to Africa, because we are one, we are one people. They say that we need to come together because we are people from the same family. We are people from one person. Remember, we are all from the same ancestry. We are all from the same origin. So let nobody come and tell you otherwise it's a choice if you may want to stay in the united states or any other part of um, european countries because uh depending on one's uh, consciousness you understand that it's always important to come and see your roots come and see your people even if you're not coming to stay come for at least once maybe twice in your lifetime at least see the history that you've been learning about Africans. There are a lot of factors that happened during slave trade, which most of them were painful. So it's important if we reconnect and we are not trying to forget the past histories, but again, it's important 
if we move forward it's it's important to build one africa now now that we are together it's important for us to build one africa we had a lot of things uh traumas that happened uh, you know uh, the ptsd that our brothers african americans are facing hearing their stories about their forefathers those things are so painful those things are so painful and don't the way we africans we can do to repay it is by at least letting them have that peace of mind letting them reconnect with our mother nature let them come to africa let them enjoy our beaches let them come home let them intermarry with us because that's where they belong i also believe so guys um i'm so sorry about that i'm so sorry apologies on her behalf we love you we africans we love you i think she's just crazy or if she's not crazy um she used the little part of africa to, ex- to validate his point because africa has 54 countries so you can't just wake up one day and say that you know uh, ghanaians don't love you african americans in fact ghanaians love you south africans love you we uh, we as african we love you talking as a kenyan we do love you as i've told you i have a lot of relationship with you some of some of you i talk to you through emails some of you interact through whatsapp w- what intention should i have what do i gain by hating you mm. this is something that i've always been saying this is something that i've always been talking to you that um we africans in as much as one or two or three of you might have bad experiences with us while you came to Africa but that doesn't entirely represent all Africans it's just like any other country you could you could find a scammer you could find bad people you could find good people but the general rule is that we Africans we love you we Africans we love you and always keep that in mind that we Africans we love you so guys um If you're watching this video for the first time kindly consider subscribing to this channel i'm on my road to 500 subscribers so your subscription it's really really important that's even just a half uh required for monetization so if you're watching me for the first time kindly consider subscribing and also thanks to all my returning viewers thanks for your subscriptions i do appreciate you I salute all my friends from the United States. I salute all my fans from the United Kingdom. I salute all my fans from South Africa. I salute all my fans from Ghana. I salute all my fans from India. I salute all my fans from the Barbados. I salute all my Caribbean friends. You guys, you are always the reason as to why I wake up every morning to do this content. I just want to talk to you. I just want to encourage you. And I'm not giving up on you. If Africa is giving up on you, I'm not giving up on you, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you that. So guys, this is Idin of Kenya. Idin from Kenya, of course. And take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Always always ensure that you are hydrated. Wear warm clothes when it's cold and know that Africa cares. We care about you. You are our business. So guys, let me see you in my next video. Salute.